Many people in central Kentucky are left dealing with the aftermath of the storms. Dejiana Wilson spoke with homeowners in Lexington who say recovery will take some time. The streets from downtown Lexington out to Richmond Road saw branches scattered everywhere and several trees were uprooted, damaging homes in this area. She knows I got her back at all times and, uh, and she's got mine. Just an hour before this big tree collapsed, Tyke Ranking was doing a favor for a client, driving by her home to make sure it was safe while she was away. It was okay when he passed by, but soon after things changed. I got the phone call with the picture that here's what we got you know, to show up with. He said the tree was damaged before, however this time it completely came up from its roots. The other half came down about a year ago, so this is only half of this tree right here, you know, which is a big, almost 200 year old cherry. We just now finished a lot of landscaping just this past month, so it took a lot of that out, this side and the front as well. Took out some of that gutter, I don't think it did too much structural damage, but. Lexington firefighters stay busy all day. Crews at Station 16 say they had more than 60 calls about downed wires. Typically, weather-related calls occur in older neighborhoods with bigger trees. Obviously, um, neighborhoods where the power lines are not buried, so those will be your older neighborhoods. District Chief Jeremy Cooper says the station planned ahead and put extra hands on deck to respond to emergencies. Took some of our folks that don't, that don't typically ride fire trucks, some of our inspectors, and some of our folks that work 40-hour positions and they actually went out on the street and were doing some of those safety assessments on those wires down calls. And Leaders encourage people to be careful around damaged areas and stay away from downed wires. They say it's important to call 911 and professionals to help with the damage if you are one of those affected. In Lexington, Dejan Wilson, Fox 56 News.